tomorrow like we think about now? Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like a whim. As we come together for the commencement service of the Epworth Mauricelia Memorial Junior School and the graduation of the grade six class, let us pray. Almighty God, you are wonderful. You are awesome. And this afternoon, as we come to this commencement service, we thank you, God, for the year 2021-2022, the academic year that you gave us and you carried us through successfully. We praise you for your touch, your inspiration, for your love, for your mercies, for your healing power. And as we come to celebrate with our grade six class, we thank you that you have carried them through the Epoch Mauricelia Memorial Junior School. Be with them, O oh God, as they step out into another level, that as they go, that they may shine brighter than lights, and in their lives they may meet success. Be with us today, the chairperson and the person presenting today. We thank you, God, for them. And as you continue to speak to us, we ask you to bless the parents, the teachers, the administrative staff, the board of the Epoch Morris Helium Memorial Junior School, now and always. Amen.
I will invite Emma Morris to introduce our chairperson. Good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am Emma Morris, and it is my pleasure to introduce our chairperson for this evening's proceedings. She is Miss Kalia Daniel, an alumna of Epworth Morris Helia Memorial Junior School. Madam Chairperson expressed that our school's motto, Altiora Sikoma, aim for the highest, made a huge impact on her life and formed a firm foundation. Madam Chairperson is focused and driven and was awarded most disciplined student amongst her graduating class in 2008. She is a trailblazer who has set and achieved many goals, including being a homeowner at the age of 21. She has also received many accolades while studying, at the U while studying digital marketing at the University of Illinois. I am pleased to present Ms. Kalia Daniel, our chairperson for this, our 25th commencement ceremony. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kalia Daniel. Please allow me to adopt the protocol that was set before me. Um, it was one of the most influential civil rights leaders who said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Our distinguished guest, Mr. Azar Gomes, Reverend Mark Christmas, Chairman of the School Board, other members of the School Board, Ms. Nadine Fifield, Mr. Christopher, Mistress Marilyn Bertie, Mistress Angela Lewis, the PTA President, Ms. Danny Maynard, representatives from the Ministry of Education, Mr. Francil Morris, the secretary in the, the, permanent, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education, Mr. Vincent Hodge, Mrs. Janelle Williams Jacobs, education officer. Our past principals, Mistress Veronica Phillip and Mistress Isilma Williams. Hi guys, once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I think I will now get the ball rolling and I will invite Mr. Naeem James to do the scripture reading. Good evening. Good evening. 
the scripture will be taken from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 26 to 31. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not, he will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Though the road was rocky and the hills were steep, we still survived. We survived the journey that was called before us. And once again, please allow me to welcome the graduating class of 2021 and 2022. How are you guys feeling today? Good. Nice, nice. Okay, so we're going to move straight forward into the school song. Are you guys ready? Okay. Can you please stand?
Thank you, students. Please allow me to welcome Ms. Peter Gray Crawford, the principal of the Epworth Maricelia Memorial Junior School. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Madam Chairperson, Miss Kalia Jones. Okay, Miss Kalia Jones. Our distinguished guest, Mr. Azard Gomes. <laughs> Reverend Mark Christmas. Chairman of the School Board, Reverend Stasia Williams Christmas, School Chaplain, other members of the School Board, Reverend Tyrone Honkins, Mr. Christopher McMahon, Ms. Nadine Fifield, representative from the Ministry of Education, Mr. Francis Morris, CEO within the Ministry of Education. Teachers, parents, well-wishers, and the Epworth Morris Hillier Memorial Junior School Class of 2022. Good evening. I am going to steal something Kelia just said. Though the road was rocky, and the hills were steep. We survived. Yes, we survived. We survived this journey called the 2021-2022 school year. The year began with an enrollment, enrollment of 257 students, 133 males and 124 females. On staff, there were 14 teachers, 13 females, and one male, a library skills teacher, three assistant teachers, a secretary, a cafeteria attendant, a cleaner, and yours truly, the principal. While COVID-19 tried its best to curtail most of our activities, it did not affect our Independence Day treat. We thank the Ministry of Education for their usual financial support in assisting to make this program a success. I thank the parents, stakeholders, and friends of Epworth Morris Hillia Memorial Junior School for their contributions and support towards our annual walkathon and breakfast. I would like to big up Ms. Mariska Fleming formerly Ms. Herbert, or otherwise called Teacher Sharma, and her team for planning and executing an awesome Christmas program. I thank the teachers who prepared the students and the parents who turned up to support their children. We can still visualize Mr. Emmanuel and his students dancing up a storm, Nigerian style, to Ms. Asha Ordain and the fundraising committee who left no stones unturned as they begged and searched for sponsorship for our Valentine's Day Mufti. This event was up like seven. Mrs. Yurdeth Brown and her team attempted and succeeded in planning and executing a Black History Month program and march and all the teachers who adequately prepared the students for the event, kudos to you all. The teachers who prepared the students for our 2021-2022 No TV Week activities 
where students participated in activities such as writing competitions, reading competitions, spelling competitions, and choral speaking, we had a blast. On a more serious note, for the 2021-2022 school year, our grades four to six students continue to pilot the CAL assessment, which I have dubbed as K, killing A, all of us with L licks. The CAL assessment killed all of us with licks. And however, although it was challenging, as teachers were expected to facilitate and instruct students using this new curriculum while they themselves were learning. This CAL assessment is something new and very different. However, like every mountain, we climbed and conquered. To the 2022 graduating class, what you have achieved at Epworth Morris Hillier Memorial Junior School is the foundation for your future. As you step towards a higher level, understand that challenges will come your way. Challenges such as friends, other outside influences, and content, which will become more difficult the higher you go. I am asking you, take the bull by its horns and press. Parents, your role has now been magnified as preteen and the teenage years step in. It means your support is needed more now than ever. It was a pleasure having your support over the years. Since taking over the role of principal, there has been one particular parent who was always willing and able to assist me as our school security, as my personal security, and also my designated driver. I cannot allow you all to leave here this afternoon without letting everybody know that I have found it necessary to thank Mr. Denver Herbert for his willing assistance over the last four years. September 2022 is the beginning of the institution's 70th year in existence. There are several events and activities being planned to commemorate this milestone. We are attempting at this time to re-establish our reading room. And I would not be doing my job as principal if I did not attempt to ask for sponsorship towards this venture. We have currently established a school building fund towards the improvement of the school. For the 70th year, we are asking for a pledge of monies in sevens. It could be $7, $70, or please forgive me if I should say, if you are willing and you're able, seven million would definitely do us well at this time. We are currently re-establishing our reading room. And of course, we're asking alumni, friends of Epworth Mauricilia Memorial Junior School, we're asking all the stakeholders to assist us in this venture. I want to ask that alumni members, whether in St. Kitts, Nevis, the diaspora, anywhere in the world. You can make your 
donations to the Send Kids circuit on their JAD account or contact the principal's office, the chairman's office or the bursar's office to make whatever contribution that you are willing or you are able to make. I thank you in advance for all the contributions you will be gifting the school. And may God continue to bless you as together we all Altiora Sequama. Aim for the heart. Thank you, Ms. Crawford. Yes, yes. <laughs> so as Ms. Crawford just said, we're looking for a donation of $7, $70, or even $7 million. <laughs> okay, so we are going to move into the congratulatory remarks by Reverend Mac Christmas, the chairman of, of the school board. Good afternoon to one and all present and viewing allow me to adopt the protocol established, save and accept to acknowledge the presence of the graduating class of 2022. This is their moment. This is your moment. And so we're here to celebrate you. As you'll have heard, we are gearing up towards 70 years, but we recognize that we did open our doors some 69 years ago, and so the Saint Circuit of Methodist Churches has the privilege but awesome responsibility of exercising stewardship over the Epworth Morris Hillier Memorial Junior School. Despite the challenges and the near closures over the years, the school is still here to God be the glory. Challenges are not terrible things to be avoided. Indeed, they present opportunities for us to find creative ways of meeting and or overcoming them, all the while growing in the process. For each year we keep the doors open, we reflect on the challenges, how we overcame them, and we celebrate the goodness of God. For each batch of students that we graduate, we reflect on the challenges that brought us to this point, how we overcame them, and we celebrate the goodness of God. So here we are at another graduation exercise, the 25th to be exact, to celebrate your successes and ours as well. As you note, 25 years is far shorter than the 69 years of the existence of the school. When I was going to school, the last day you finished, that was it. You came back for prize giving in November or December, and you were off to high school. There was no graduation. And so you are fortunate, 25 years in, and we're celebrating. So to you, the graduating class of 2020, 22, could I ask you to sit up, sir? Thank you. To the graduating class of 2022, you now stand with mixed emotions on the brink of your future academic pursuits. Here is where all that you have learned to this point come to the fore. Your years at the Epworth Morris Hill Memorial Junior School form part of your training years. Be reminded that for every grade you entered your journey so far, there were challenges. Yet you overcame those challenges and stepped up another rung of the academic ladder. And so all of these that you have conquered to, to date 
should give you the impetus to step up in a life, quote unquote. Lest you thought that you overcame these challenges by yourself, think again. You only did so because of God in Christ and the persons and other resources God placed in your lives to help. Know also that God in Christ would have used you to help others to overcome their challenges so that we didn't become selfish in our trying to overcome challenges. We all need each other. The truth be told, I know that some of you created challenges for other students, for your teachers, and for your parents and guardians. For some, the same challenges are still confronting you, which you have and can prevent you, which can and have prevented you from stepping towards a higher level. But can I encourage you to be patient with yourself, to rest in God's limitless power to help you, to recite to yourself, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, from Philippians 4 and verse 13. I also encourage those of us who are your support systems, inclusive of the society at large, to be patient with those with challenges. Know that we are people with challenges and not challenges in and of ourselves. Allow me then, on behalf of the other board members, Reverend Tyrone Hunkins, Reverend Andrean Joseph, Reverend Stasia Williams Christmas, Mr. Christopher McMahon, Mrs. Cathwell Belgan, Miss Peter Gay Crawford, Miss Danny Maynard, Mrs. Janelle Williams Jacobs, Miss Nadine Fifield, Mrs. Angela Lewis, Miss Rublin Odin, Mrs. Marilyn Bertie, and Mrs. Patricia Hodge. And indeed, the widest circuit on which we act, on whose behalf we act, join me in thanking you, the parents and guardians, and supports in trusting your child into our care over the years. We trust that we did a wonderful job. We express our heartfelt appreciation at this time to Mrs. Joycelyn Wilshire, who after a two year stint leaves us at the end of August. Let us give our hand. <laughs> Mrs. Wilshire, we pray God's continued blessing on you and your family as you continue in God's service, albeit in a different sphere. We pray for you, the graduates, the best that God offers you as you aim high in all aspects of your lives. Congratulations, class of 2020. Before I take my seat, I glimpsed in the congregation, the audience, our centenarian, Miss Angeline Rivan, who is sitting among us, an educator in heart, and she just recently celebrated a hundred year of birth. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Reverend Christmas. We are now going to have a dance by the graduates of 2022.
graduates. Please allow me to welcome Mistress Janelle William Jacobs of Ministry of Education. She'll be given, he will, sorry, be given a, a remark. I apologize. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry to disappoint you, but I am not Mrs. Janelle Williams Jacobs. My name is Mr. Frank Sil Morris, and I am the Chief Education Officer within the Ministry of Education. I want to apologize on behalf of Mrs. Janelle Williams Jacobs, who is the Education Officer that I assigned to this school. However, this afternoon she had a family emergency and is currently at JNF and is unable to be here with us this afternoon. She has sent her apologies and would have given me a little snippet of what she wanted to share with you this afternoon because serving in the space as the Chief Education Officer, there is about 10 graduations taking place today to which I have been invited to all 10. Well, of course, that is impossible. I participated in one of them this morning, and this afternoon, I just wanted to come and sit under the radar, as I am the proud parent of the young lady who introduced our chairperson for this afternoon, Miss Emma Morris. And so, it would have been quite nice that I sit in the audience in the back with my wife and enjoy this moment. But as Mrs. Williams Jacobs 
is unable to be here. The responsibility has been placed on me as the Chief Education Officer to extend congratulations. And parents, I, you know, even as the children would have presented this afternoon and as you would have sat in your spaces, I, I wish that, you know, we get a little bit more excited because our children have done extremely well and we have much to give God thanks for. We recognize that these students, their educational journey got interrupted with the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic when these students were in grade four. They about, um, school was closed abruptly by the instruction of the health practitioners and then we had to transition into remote learning and then when I thought that all was well, had a wonderful vacation in December and January and I returned back to the island expecting school to be reopened while enjoying that leave, I heard word from the Minister of Education that there is going to be a further delay for term two for this year. And so again, our children's education was interrupted. And so we have much to give God thanks for because even during the period while they, the face-to-face -face modality was interrupted. I want to, us to give a big round of applause to the teachers on the classes, particularly those in grade six who had to finish this course with our children because they engaged them remotely. And so I want to say thank you to both teachers. I know your principal would have spoken about some challenges, but that it in itself became a challenge because that has to be a new way of ensuring that instruction continues within the school. And you know, sometimes I'm there listening in um, to the classes that are taking place as a trained teacher myself, and they recognize that the teachers had to depend on these young ones, they're very smart, in order for them to share and let in, and some of them know how to let out persons and all these good things. But I want to say again, thank you to your, um, the teachers and also to the students for their resilience and for paying attention during those times. I want to say a special good afternoon to Mrs. to Miss Rivan. I don't know her personally, but I learned of her um, serving in the space as Chief Education Officer. And when she celebrated her hundredth birthday, I attended the service out of respect for an educator who has served the Federation well. So I want us to put our hands together again for Mrs. Riven. And you know, there are those of us who are younger than Mrs. R Ms. Riven. And you see how God has continued to be good to her. She is in her right mind. She's able to walk, she's able to stand. And you know, that is something that I'm really proud of. And I am happy that I was able to be present at your celebration to pay that respect to you for all that you have done for the nation's children. So on to the remarks from Mrs. William Jacobs. Shaga Yoda penned, I will rise after every fall, and after every fall, I will rise. As I read these lines, I found that it ties in nicely to your theme for today. Despite our challenges, we are stepping towards a higher level. These words are encouraging to all of us as we rise in spite of our challenges. So graduating class, as you end this part of your educational journey and enter into secondary school for the new school year, I encourage you to stay focused and never give up. I would like you to reflect on the words of this poem, and it is entitled, Rise Up Every Time You Fall. It is written by Bernard As... It is written by Bernard F. Asserton. Rise up every time you fall, one day the sun will shine. Stormy weather will end. 
even the dark, long line. Look upon the blue sky. Let the setback turn into sweet, lucky day. Arrows that you commit turn into a right way. In spite of all the failures, live to take another chance. If it takes a hard time, go the distance. April 10th, Monday morning, learn to reach your goal. Never give up, nor surrender. Rise up every time you fall. To the parents of the graduating class, of which I am a part of, the battle is not over. In fact, I would say that it has just begun. As these children open this new chapter in their lives, you will need to be with them every step of the way. This new chapter brings unpredictable changes, changes in your children's attitude, changes as it relates to peer pressure, changes as it relates to new friendships, and the list, it goes on. In spite of all of these, parents, I encourage you to never give up on your children. Continue to love them, continue to support them, and continue to encourage them so that they can change any negative behavior into positives. Don't let them give up in spite of the challenges that they may face. To Ms. Crawford and her staff, I would like to thank you for the encouragement, the love and support that you have given to the students during their years here at the Morris Hillier Junior Memorial School. You have helped them to complete this stage in their educational journey. Your hard work and dedication to service has not gone unnoticed. We commend you and we are truly grateful for your dedication to task. And so finally, it gives me immense pleasure on behalf of the Ministry of Education and on my own behalf as the Chief Education Officer to extend congratulations to the principal, staff, and parents, and especially the graduating class of 2022. You did it. Please stand, class of 2022. I want all of us to give them a big round of applause. Congratulations and all the best as you continue your educational journey. Thank you, Mr. Morris. As we move along, I would like to call upon Loxton Edwards. Loxton. A pleasant good afternoon to everybody. The chairman, executive members of the board of the Epworth Marcelia Memorial Junior School, Principal Mrs. Crawford, teachers, graduates, parents, and invited guests. I, Loxton Edwards, stand here with great pleasure to introduce to you our 2022 guest speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, our guest speaker for today hails from the community of All Road, or as we would call him, an all-rodian. He is no stranger to speaking at large events. He displays great leadership and responsibility, and his interest lies within law and politics. He has represented the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis at various youth forums locally, regionally, and internationally. In 2001, he was the valedictorian of the Academy Primary School, 
He was once again valedictorian of Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College, General Arts and Sciences Division. In 2008, he was the, practice, he was the recipient of the Lyamega Youth Legacy Award. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, our guest speaker holds many accomplishments under his name from law faculty representative to president, all while attending the University of the West Indies. He has held and still holds many positions such as deputy chairman of the People's Action Movement, board secretary and legal counsel of the St. Christopher Air and Seaport Authority, chairman of the People's Action Movement Constituency Four Group, adjunct law lecturer at the Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College, former student and teacher of the Washington Archibald High School, former radio host at Wynn Media St. Kitts, former Crown Council Attorney General's Chamber in the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs, former president of the St. Kitts National Youth Parliament Association. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, it is with great honor I present to you Mrs. A Mr. Azad Gomes. Good evening. Good evening. Allow me to adopt the protocol that has been established. Thank you, Mr. Edwards, for that kind introduction. I am indeed honored to have been given the opportunity today to address you, the graduating class of 2022. The students, parents, teachers, and well-wishers assembled here today are indeed proud. This afternoon's theme, despite challenges, we are stepping towards a higher level, is extremely fitting when you look over the past years. Just two years ago, the world had to grapple with the impact of COVID-19. Across the region, COVID-19 caused disruptions for parents, teachers, students. At the peak of the pandemic, 45 countries in Europe and Central Asia closed their schools, affecting over 185 million students. Although here in St. Kitts and Nevis, we were able to exist with COVID-19, it wasn't without its challenges. The graduates today had to be placed on a shift system given reduced face-to-face -face learning time, physical education was restricted, lunch time and break time reduced. Additionally, the students were not able to participate in their popular No TV Week match, which has become a main staple for this school. I say all of that to say this. The graduating class you see before you today have already experienced obstacles and challenges unknown to us when we were their age. Yet, they have preserved and have made it here today. They deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Additionally, you, the parents and teachers, deserve a round of applause 
for ensuring that they were able to make it here today. To the graduating class of 2022, I know that you are excited to go high school, right? How many persons are excited? Awesome. How many persons are sad to go to high school? How many persons are frightened? Okay. How many persons are going to miss their teachers? How many persons can't wait to get away? <laughs> so you have so many things, so many reasons to look forward to high school. How many of you know which high school you're going to already? How many of you like the high school you're going to? Okay, so they are very excited. Any persons going to the Washington Archibald High School? Anybody going to the Bastia High School? Anybody going to the Virtuals High School? Sandy Point High School? Sadler's High School. What about the the Kayon High School? What about the ICCS? Okay. So I promise not to be very long this afternoon because I know when I was your age, I liked a quick motivational speech rather than something that is very long. And so I am going to ask you or give you some advice when you go to high school, okay? I'm going to ask you about it when I'm finished and hopefully you're able to tell me some of the things that I've said. So, high school is a new experience. I want you to, one, when you go to high school, choose your friends wisely, okay? Choose your friends wisely. You're going to meet a lot of people. Okay? High school is much, as you know, is much bigger than primary school. I went to the Washington Archibald High School. I came from a school that had 60 persons, maybe 100 persons. When I went to the Washington Archibald High School, it had 800 students. So imagine. So you're going to meet a lot of persons from various walks of life, okay? Choose your friends wisely. And why do I tell you to choose your friends wisely? Can I, can I get a mic? I find if you, if you read from a script, you'd lose the students, so you have to be as interactive. Some of them will be bad influences. Okay, some of them will be bad influences, correct. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Back there. The last answer. Talk bad about you. <laughs> so talk bad about you. Okay. Well, that's, that's very good, you know, because you don't want anyone around you who is talking ill about you. You understand? That person is not a friend, and it means that person doesn't want to see you move forward. So, firstly, when you go to high school, you're going to meet a lot of people. Choose your friends wisely. The second thing I want to leave with you is to be dedicated. Persevere. You want me to tell you why? You're going to... In, in, in primary school, you have a, a certain number of subjects that you're doing. You're going to be exposed to other subjects. You're going to be exposed to other sports, okay? You're going to be exposed to other things. You might not be good at everything at first chance, okay? Maybe it is you might not be good at math. 
You might not be good at PE, but what I want you to do is to never give up, okay? You promise me that? That you will never give up? Okay. Even though you may go to classes that are in a class that you are not comfortable in, don't give up. The third thing that I want to leave with you, right, is that, you see this? What is this? Well, it's ringing. A phone, right? And what can be done on a phone? Everybody here has a phone? Everyone has access to the internet? Okay. So there are good tools and bad tools. You have YouTube is there. Some of you or some people I see go on YouTube for the games. But unlike what I want to say is that you guys are lucky in the sense that a lot of topics when it comes to school, if it's math, if it's science, it's on YouTube. When I was your age, if you didn't find it in a book, you had to ask a teacher. If a teacher didn't know, you have to find it somewhere. But you have access to a lot of information. Use the internet wisely. Use the internet wisely. There are different apps that you could use as well that can help you learn. So don't just use the internet wastefully, okay? Use the internet to enhance your learning. The fourth thing I want to leave with you is to, you might not like this one. What do you think the fourth thing is? Yeah? Listen to your parents. Why, why do you think I said listen to your parents? Give her the mic. Someone said they give good advice. They always support us. Yes, they are always supportive. They give good advice. You are going to high school. You are going to go through different experiences, okay? But your parents always have your best interests at heart. Your parents know exactly what is best for you, okay? So trust them. You might not agree with them all the time, but trust them, okay? Because they have your best interests at heart. So I left four things with you. Could you tell me what the first one is? Choose your friends wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Give him a round of applause. What's the second thing? Use your technology wisely. Correct. Well, give him a round of applause. Listen to your parents. Correct. Give him a round of applause. Okay, at least at the end of the day, I could say they walk away remembering something. To persevere. Ah, yes. Wonderful. Give them all a round of applause. So all of you are ready for high school then? You understand? You have the tools that you need already. You'll have you already passed through a tough time with COVID-19. It wasn't easy, but you made it, okay? And your parents were there for you. And I know that they've been there for you during primary school, they'll be there for you during high school as well. Parents, continue to support your children, okay? Continue to show them the love and support that they need, especially in these times. So that is it, Ms. Crawford, M Madam, yes.
Thank you, Mr. Guest Speaker, Mr. Azar Gums. Hopefully, the graduates of 2022 will heed Mr. Gums' warning. And, yes, Kimori. <laughs> and use the internet wisely and also choose your friends wisely. So we are now going to move into the graduating song of 2022. Graduates, can you kindly stand, please?
Thank you, graduates. <laughs> Please allow me to welcome Mahalia Hodge France and Nicholas Petty. They will be giving a prayer. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Songbirds. Once again, thank you. We are going to move into the next item on our agenda, which is the sign language by graduates. Yeah, I'm going to go 
Thank you, graduates. So we are going to move into the highly anticipated section of this evening. Please allow me to welcome Ms. Crawford to the stage. She passed the baton on to Miss Lewis. Miss Lewis, are you anywhere around? Good afternoon. I'll be identifying the students who have topped their respective orders and areas of subjects. I would like to call Mrs. Fleming, Mrs. Leibert Bryan, and Mr. Emmanuel. All students will be presented with a graduation package, which includes a school leaving certificate, a picture package, a trophy, and a book certificate courtesy of the Epworth Mauricelia Memorial Junior School. Students, listen attentively as their names are called. Parents, this is the time to make noise for your child. They have come thus far. You have been quiet throughout the whole of the graduation. Mr. Emmanuel. Brianna Barry. Bass. <laughs> Salangel Belboda. <laughs> Jaden Berich. Jenny Christmas. <laughs> Najmeen Clark.
Curtis Collins. Kiandra Duggins. Kalik Duncan. Talia Edimbaw. Loxton Edwards. Jaron Francis. Travis Henry. Jadian Hobson. <laughs> Yanella Hodge. Kwani Jacobs. Kimo 
Corey James. Naeem James. Jacavian Lewis. Carlington Miller. Divine more. Asia Peace. Gianna Richardson. Jari Sadler. Cassiana Samuel. Mikash Sonda. Yeah. 
Isaiah Thomas. Rashidi Thomas. Kenrick Wallace. Happy birthday, Kenrick. Zahil Watson. Nayesha Rensford. Stevenicia Rensford. Stevania Richards Rensford. We will now look at the non-academic awards. Most disciplined courtesy of the Epworth Marie Silla Memorial Junior School. Most disciplined from Mrs. Wilshire's class, Zimaya Herbert. And from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Most helpful courtesy of Mrs. Michelle Christmas Jacobs. From Mrs. Wilshire's class, J.D. Ann Hobson. From Mrs. Dolphin's class, Loxton Edwards. Yeah. And also from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Thea Fifield Edwards. Principals 
Award, courtesy of our principal, Ms. Peter Gay Crawford, Mikash Sonda. Sports Scholar Award, courtesy of Miss Kayleen Blanchett, girl, Emma Morris. And boy, Isaiah Thomas. We will now look at the academic awards. Students will be awarded from each class in the core subject areas of mathematics, language arts, social studies, and science. Language arts, courtesy of Ms. Jeanne Williams from Mrs. Wilshire's class, Tyasia Peets. from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Mathematics, courtesy of Mr. Clement Jomo Williams, from Mrs. Wilshire's class, Zimaya Herbert. from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Mikash Sonda. Science, courtesy of Miss Tanya Watts. Tanya Watts, my apologies. From Mrs. Wilshire's class, Tyasia Peets. from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Mikash Sonda. Social studies, courtesy of Miss Andrea Liber, from Mrs. Wilshire's class, Zimaya Herbert. And from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Isaiah Thomas. Most improved, the prizes for most improved students are courtesy of Miss Aisha Webster. This award is given to students who have made an increase in their percentage average during grade six. From Mrs. Wilshire's class, Yanella Hodge. from Mrs. Dolphin's class, Rikima Bass.
Most Industrious and Determined Student Award, courtesy of J S and S Enterprises, Isaiah Thomas. J S and S Enterprises will also donate the most diligent in homework assignment award, Kijari Sadler. Top three. The prizes for the top three students from each class, courtesy of the Parents Teachers Association. Third place, Mrs. Wilshire's class, Kianja Huggins. Third place in Mrs. Dolphin's class, Kaiwan Green. Second place, Mrs. Wilshire's class, Zimaya Herbert. Second place, Mrs. Dolphin's class, Divine Moore. First place, from Mrs. Wilshire's class, Tyasia Peet. And first place for Mrs. Dolphin's class, Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Top all rounded. This award is courtesy of Mr. Eustace Warner and it is given to the boy and girl who demonstrates the ethos of the institution, which includes good grades, attendance, leadership skills, school involvement, and sports. Our top girl for this year graduating class, Kiana Smith. and our top boy, Naeem James. Yeah. Finally, the valedictorian and salutatorian award 
These awards are given to the top academic performing student and the second best academic performing student over two years. Our salutatorian, Divine Moore. And our valedictorian for the graduating class of 2022, Isaiah Thomas. Remember, graduates, despite our challenges, we are stepping towards a higher level. Please allow me to welcome Ms. Peter Gray Crawford, the principal. Good evening again, everyone. At this time, I'm going to ask one of my very my beautiful teachers to just. And I would like Mr. Herbert to step, Mr. Herbert to step forward this afternoon. Denver Herbert, Denver Herbert to step forward. I must give you some background, parents. Since I came in 2018. Mr. Herbert has been a staple to Maurice Hillier, and I'm sure he was always a staple to Maurice Hillier. I could call on him at any time. Every time we had a function, oh, Denver, Lord, I'm tired. Can you please come and play security for me? And he would always come. At nights, when we have our functions, and it's time for me to go back to the office, he comes and he plays security and he's always standing by the door and he takes me home and he takes me to the bank and he takes me everywhere. He has definitely, he has been, I don't want to say useful to me because it's so like I'm using you, but you have been very good to me, Mr. Herbert, and I thank you very much. I'm very appreciative of what you have done and it just goes to show how, pardon me? Oh, and I hear that he can, he can cook well, so. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, Mr. Herbert, you seem to be a very good father, and we are just encouraging you from my staff and myself to continue doing your best. Mr. Hobson, could you please step forward? Mr. Hobson, could you please come forward? While he comes, I could just give you some background. Mr. Hobson, too, has been a very visible father. You know, mothers are always around. But when you see... All right, clap. You can clap. Clap, clap, clap. 
Wonderful. When you see fathers involved in the, the lives of their children, we have to commend them. We have to big them up and showcase them because the truth and the, the, the truth of the matter is they are models of what fatherhood should be like. So Mr. Hobson, on behalf of the staff, the administration, the board of management, we present you with this token. It's a very small token, but a token nonetheless. Thank you very much for the contribution that you have made over the, the years. Before I allow Reverend Mark to step forward, I, I need to point out two things. The Principal's Award this year, we had to incorporate an additional award that Mikash Sundar would have received. Mikash is a very brilliant child who coming to send coming to Maurice Hillier. He has been doing exceptionally well over the last two years. Because of our policy, he does not qualify for any of the top awards. Um, based on his grades, he would have topped grade five, and I think he came fourth in grade six. So that would have made him a contender for one of the top prizes, but because of his tenure, because he just came here in grade five, we had to give him something to encourage him. When he goes on to high school, he can say, well, I got something from Mauricilla for doing exceptionally well, and hopefully this will encourage him to continue doing well. So Mikash, congratulations, sweetie. You have done exceptionally well coming to Mauricilla. You have done well. We are sorry that we could not give you our coveted award because of your tenure here. However, I would like for you to accept the principal's award on my behalf. <laughs> Reverend Mark, please come. Mrs. Joyce and Wilshire to come forward. <laughs> Mrs. Wilshire, as I indicated, you came and gave us two years. Two wonderful years, and I'm sure the students who have passed through your hands can attest uh, to it. At times, as I passed since I lived, can I get some quiet, please? Can I get some attention? Thank you very much. At times, when I passed, I I could I could hear Mrs. Vo Wilshire's voice. It 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 was not soft. I'm sure the students got her wrath at times, but she was pushing, pushing for the best from her students, for that is what she wanted from them, that is what she expected from them, and that is what she would have gotten from them. It gives us pleasure then to present Mrs. Wilshire with this small token of our appreciation, and we pray that as she goes on to other spheres of service, that she continues with the same passion, the zeal that she has for her God, her country, and indeed for all. So God bless you as you go forward. At the same time, we, we don't have anything for her, but we say thanks as yet. But we say thanks to Miss Sheldon Dean Lewis, 
as she leaves us as well, and she goes on to the teacher education, CFBC, to begin her studies as a trained teacher. We want to wish her all the very best and to say thank you for the years that she has given to us. She came to us as the government paid teacher at the school, and so we are thankful to the ministry and to Miss Lewis, and pray God's blessings upon you. God bless. Now that we have all presented the awards to the awardees, I would like to call upon Mr. Isaiah Thomas to give his valedictorian address. He's small but tall. Good evening. Please allow me to adopt the protocol already established. I, mean, I wish to however recognize our parents, teachers, well-wishers, and my fellow graduates, without whom we would not have made it this far. My name is Isaiah Thomas, and it is my esteemed honor to deliver this valedictory address to you today. The great philosopher Lao Tzu said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And we would not have been graduating from Mauricio without taking that first step from preschool to kindergarten, where we were placed in either teacher novel or teacher leader's class. And what a big step that was for us. I don't know how many of us remember what it was like coming from big school, but for me, it was frightening. My mom told me that she would come back for me, and she took hours to come back for me. The road to success is not straight, and is always under construction, but the key is to focus on your goals and not the obstacles. Imagine you are 10 years old, halfway through grade four, when boom, the whole world has gone crazy from a virus that threatened to put an end to our face-to-face -face learning. In spite of this, with all the COVID protocols and the uncertainties, there was nothing sweeter than early school, where race men playing play, lay in bed or playing video games. But grade six was no joke. We often heard rumors about the workload we would have to take on, undertake in grade six, but boy, the work Mrs. Dolphin and Mrs. Wisher gave us brought nightmares to reality. However, to put it in the words of David Sarnoff, the will to persevere is often the difference between failure and success. It is the persistence to failure. Despite, despite the ups and downs, we did it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Of course, we would not have done all of this on our own. On behalf of the Airport Mauricelia Memorial Junior School, graduating class of 2022, I would like to extend a hearty thank you to everyone who contributed to our journey. To our parents and guardians who have paid for and supported us throughout our seven years, we thank you and we love you. To all the teachers who gave their all each day, laboring to provide us with a tremendous education and pushed us to do our best. Even on days when it may have been a challenge, we thank you. In addition for helping us cultivate relationships that will last a lifetime, we thank you. To the family members of the graduating class that supported, sacrificed, and dedicated their time to us, it has not gone unnoticed. We thank you. A special thank you to my parents, aunts, uncles, and parents. Thank you so much for encouraging me. To my cousin Kijari for always having my back at school. I thank you. 
to my fellow classmates. We, would, we made it to the end of this chapter, and we are stepping into a new one as champion. So high school, ready or not, here we come. I will leave you with this quote by Tory Butch. We may live in an age of instant messaging, instant gratification, and Instagram, but there is no way to short circuit the path to success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Congratulations once again. Please allow me to welcome Divine Moore to the podium. Good evening, everyone. Please allow me to adopt the protocol already established this evening. It is an honor and a privilege for me to stand before you this evening to extend sincere gratitude on behalf of the Epworth Marcelia Memorial Junior School, Class of 2022. First and foremost, I would like to give thanks to Almighty God for bringing us through the many challenges and difficulties that we face through the COVID-19 pandemic. We are also grateful to Reverend Mark Christmas and all the clergy of the Methodist Church for always instilling in us to aim for the highest. We especially applaud our chaplain, Reverend Stasia, for all her encouragement over the years. To our principal and teachers, both past and present from kindergarten to grade six, thank you for your support and guidance through the years. Even though Ms. Crawford was strict, she still showed us love and allowed us to have fun. To our parents and guardians, we thank you for all your support, spiritual, mental, and financial. Thank you. Personally, I wish to thank God for my late grandmother, Beulah Moore, who always told me hard work is all it takes. You will get there. To my other family members who encouraged me to do my best and sacrifice their time and energy to help me succeed. Jan Jan, mom, dad, Auntie Cheryl, and others. Thank you to my fellow graduates who made this journey so wonderful. Today would not have been the success that it was had it not been for the hard work of many who gave their time, talent, and treasures to ensure that we had a fantastic experience. So to all who contributed, thank you, thank you, thank you. We truly appreciate our guest speaker, Mr. Azad Gums, who encouraged and motivated us as we take the next steps in our academic careers. Special thanks to Mr. Francis Morris, who brought greetings from the Ministry of Education. To Mahalia and Nicholas, who blessed us with their rendition of the prayer. We were truly blessed. To all who worked, supported, encouraged, showed up for us, we thank you so very much, and may God bless you. Thank you again, and good night. Thank you, Divine. Please allow me to welcome the passing of the valedictorian's plaque, presented by Sophia Deveson.
Isaiah, can you please join us also? We will now have the candle lighting ceremony. We don't have you. Okay, sorry. Um, we will move along to passing the torch by Rikelia Liber. Isaiah, can you please? Thank you. Please allow me to welcome Jaron Francis. Jaron Francis. Good evening, everyone. Miss Jones, on behalf of the 2022 graduating class and staff, of the Epworth Morris Hillier Memorial Junior School, I would like to express our gratitude for sparing time from your busy schedule to be our mistress of ceremony. Thank you for your professionalism, expertise, and very personable approach. I can proudly say you made everyone feel welcome and relaxed. Thank you again. As Mr. Azad Gums was leaving, he asked me to express or to let everyone know that he was sad that he would be leaving, but he had to attend to something else. So his presentation will be at a later date. Now we'll move along to passing the torch, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, the candle lighting. My apologies and the recession. Students or graduates, just a gentle reminder, the 360 boot is already outside. 
So when you're finished, But before we leave, can you kindly stand for the recession, the recessional? Good evening again, everyone. Just a minute before we leave. Over the past four years, we have parents, just a minute. Over the past four years, the Board of Management would have started to, started a fund for teachers who were desirous of going to Teachers College. I am pleased to announce that for this year, Mrs. Lybert Bryan, she would have taken up the task and she would have um, applied to Teachers College. So we are hoping that coming September, um, she will be studying at the CFBC College. Let us put our hands together for Ms. Lybert.